I was on a panel for Swift. What's uh, and um, Swift is um, it's effectively a, an interbank or interfinancial institution messaging system. Uh, so when you send a transfer, for example, that is an, a, an, a cross-border transfer, then you tell your bank you want to send money from A to B. The bank then creates a Swift message and then sends it to the, the, the receiving bank. And uh, then both banks know that this is supposed to happen. So it's a message. It's an intention that is mm. being communicated. And, um, and then, you know, the execution of that transfer happens somehow. Yeah. And that's where the, the TradFi part is, is really interesting, right? Because uh, banks, um, the, like the entire financial system is kind of run on Cobalt, Excel, email, and XML. Uh, and, and all of these are technologies that are, you know, before the 2000s, right? Yeah, your grandpa probably coded. Correct. Them. So it was, it was actually really interesting because you, you listen to all of the banks talking about how, how much money they spend, how difficult it is to implement this XML-based messaging system. Uh, and it's XML because it was uh, this ISO 222. Uh, it, um, it, has, it has its origins in, in the early 2000s, which was when XML was, was, more, was used, yeah. right? Uh, and it's taken from then until now to kind of get people to implement, but they're still out there. Like and that's, 20 years. Yeah, and, that, and that's just at the messaging layer, right? So they're standardizing the messaging so that the banks can tell each other, this is what we're supposed to be doing. But then the back end uh, needs to execute it. And all of these different back ends are completely fragmented. So, you know, they were built in the 70s sometimes. Mm -hmm. Completely different architectures often. You know, I mean, sure, in the bigger scheme of things, what they do is that they do debits and, and credits, but they do so differently. And the problem then is that even if you have the standardized messaging layer, you have a very, very non-standardized way of actually executing the transactions, which means that you have the fragmentation that leads to like more exceptions than standard scenarios. Mm. And, uh, and that's what makes traditional finance really, really tricky.